Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to another movie reaction. So today we are continuing the Fear Street saga journey with uh, the second film, that is 1978. Um, as you can see, Nala is already here with me, so she didn't even wait until I started filming this time before she uh, came over and was like, time to give me attention. So she's here to start us off. Um, yeah, so I, as you guys know, thoroughly enjoyed the first one. I felt like, especially the last 45 minutes or so, really took it in another level, another direction, and that I uh, really was a fan of the Fear Street books. And I actually went, I mentioned that I'm, I was mostly into the Fear Street Cheerleader Saga, and I actually was able to go and find online, it, this, this makes a cameo in the first one. On, on one of the shelves in the store at the beginning. Cheers, first evil, the first one. So I'm gonna read this uh, sometime over the next couple days. It's really short. It'll probably only take a couple of hours at most to read through it, but I just wanna see if it holds up how I remember. There was actually five books in this particular, in the, the cheerleader saga. And I was looking, I went on Amazon and I thought, you know, maybe I can just find like a, set of them that would be not too expensive but apparently even though this one is really easy to get the second one is out of print and is like selling for like three hundred dollars which is insane so that's not necessarily gonna happen gonna have to like call up my mother and ask her to go search through things and see if she could find my old copies but uh yeah i'm gonna read this one though i'm excited so Anyway, with that babbling aside, I'm excited to check out the second film here, 1978, with Nala. We got my popcorn, um, ready to see some <laughs> um, 70s horror movie inspired uh, camp slasher sort of thing. So, all right, let's check it out. Baby Fault. is plunged into horror yet again. Hi, baby. As the sheriff's department reports more carnage at East Union Medical. Police believe the murders were fueled by amphetamines. Local teenagers Kate Schmidt and Simon Calamoda are the primary suspects. Sucks. The scene of the final carnage was the local grocery store. A week later, my sister was dead. <laughs> Way to bully? Like, what the fuck? Well, well, what do we have here? Goddamn thief. No, no, she's no thief. She's possessed by the witch. The only way to explain her psycho behavior. Fuck you! I mean, I'm not surprised that bullying here would Just take on those rumors. You do know what they did to Seraphia, right? They hanged her. On this very tree. But she would have died forever if you didn't. That girl's in Stranger Things, too. So. Burn. It's probably a nurse light and check that burn out. Wait. I'm just gonna let it get infected and die. What? I'm gonna get a thank you? This is the sheriff, oh. right? I'm sorry, I forgot. So then, thank you, his brother? Future police chief Nick Good. Yeah, yeah. He's giving poor, helpless, shady cider me. How could I ever repeat So then his brother, the one that was oh, helping to torture her, was God, is the future mayor. I should have known I Lane. Well, um, they say she, uh, she 
killed people? Uh, no, that's not all they say. Seven, seven friends. Eight. She killed herself that night too. So eight. Romeo was such a sweet girl. Oh, she had a sweet voice. She was a choir. She wanted to be a singer. because we had this conversation last week and the week before that. Yeah, and again, I'm not gonna get kicked out. That's not what Kurt thinks. Yeah, well, Kurt can suck it. No, Siggy, <laughs> no. If you get kicked out, I do too. Wait, why? I can't work and take care of you, and then how will I pay for college, huh? Oh, that's funny to you? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> Explain to me what's so funny, how dumb you are. No one gets out of this town, not even Miss Perfect. Oh, jeez. If you're way out, you get run over by the bus. Once in your life, oh. could you just not be so, so mean? Could once in your life you just stop pretending? Your shady side. In case you forgot. Swear to God, I don't really disgust it. You ruined my life. Alice, just like... What is it, babe? There's <sighs> Lane. I'm sorry. But I can't save you. What? I saw your name. I saw it on the wall. One way or another, you're gonna die tonight. What are, what are you talking He's gonna be yeah, Seraphir's weapon this message. time. He's gonna be the killer. Doesn't make any sense. She said that she saw his name. Why she do something like this? And we she saw at the end of the like last one. She never seemed crazy. It had Ruby Lane. And it also had Sam. Oh god, here we go. She emerged by the meeting house. One hand severed, lost forever. We hanged the witch, body chained and buried. But without her hand, her grip on the land holds firm. <laughs> this is Seraphir shit. Alice, come on. When she is near, blood will fall. The curse will last until body and hand unite. Alice, like devil worship. <laughs> the witch's mark, huh? The witch's mark. The what? A deal was made with the devil. Sarah Fear cut off her wicked hand on Satan's stone in exchange for eternal life, scarring the soil beneath with the witch's mark, bringing darkness upon the land. That's it. It's a seed of Menefin. Arnie, what are you talking about? L484. It's Tylenol. It, it just hit me. It's it's fucking Tylenol. It's nothing. Are you sure? This place, it, it keeps on going. No. Cyrus Miller. Billy Barker. Ruby mm -hmm. Lane. Harry Stoddard. Yeah. Isaac Milton. Harry Rooker. You don't have to go to fucking class to know those names. Shady side killers. Yeah. Except one. She said the name was on the wall. She said she saw the name on the wall. Tommy. Hello. Have your ear on that. That's for sure. He's on dead. He's on being dead and reanimated by Sarah Fear. Me? Uh-oh. Uh
I, I get it, but wouldn't you rather run through the woods or something? Except it's all make-believe. The truth is, you like mm -hmm. Stephen King and spiders and the weird girl from Shady Said. First of all, Stephen King is like super popular. And second, I can't like the weird girl. Why not? Because I'm a counselor. She's a camper. Last year for me, first year for you. Plus. How will I ever get to know her when she keeps dodging my questions? Dad loaded me up with all this, you know, you're my legacy, you know, the future of the family depends on you shit. You know, I just dropped this huge burden in my lap and I don't know, what if I don't want that? What if that's not who I want to be? What if I want to be the kid who likes Spiders and Stephen King and uh, and the weird girl from Shady Side. <laughs> yeah, the weird girl from Shady Side. But uh, no, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. Why not? Yeah, you're right. Can we uh, can we go back to the easy questions? Okay. How about, would you ever kiss the weird girl? Don't tell me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Say, thought you were different. They're getting on the bus, and we have to go right now. No, no, Come on. My sister, she's Please. still out there. Ziggy, I know I've let a lot of people die tonight. No, this isn't your fault. But not you. I'm not letting you die. Because, uh, yeah, I do like the weirdo from Shady Side. And I was thinking that maybe once we got out of this, we could, uh, we could start a book club <laughs> or something. Maybe, uh, I don't know, Stephen King's new one's supposed to be good, I hear. I'm done with King. Judy Bloom from, from now on. Yeah, Judy Bloom sounds, uh, sounds perfect. You believe it, right? About the curse. Yeah, of course. I am different. As long as it isn't a poisonous snake, what the fuck ever? Why does he not kill him? Because he's not from Shady Side? Is that really it? What if there's not? There's gotta be. We're at the out. Now get away from him, because he's just gonna come back. You smell like shit. You know that's because I'm covered in it. Oh. <laughs> I get out of shady side, but now I know you were right. Everything is cursed. I could have been nicer. <laughs> could have been less of a, of a monster. Yeah, well, you were my monster. And at the end of the day, mom, dad, shady side, Sunnyvale, I won't let anything pull us apart again. You hear me? Mm, here comes the dead I'll guy, come me. back. You know he's not just gonna stay there dead. Like, what were you thinking? She was angry. We have to bury this thing. Right fucking now. So then, this is what's gonna be. It's that she's gonna know where the hand is, and then they're gonna know where the rest of her body is, and so that they can work together to hopefully end the curse. Oh, I 
For nothing, she saved you. Honestly, I think I liked this one better than the first one, even though I really did like the first one too. And the first one um, really, I guess, shocked me more with the, the twists at the end when I didn't expect the friends to die. Because in this one, you know, we kind of knew going in that there was only supposed to be one survivor. Which isn't true though, because Nick also survived, so the only thing I can gather from that, I mean, and a bunch of other kids that got on the bus, too. So the only thing that I can gather from that is maybe somehow, you know, Nick's family with the influence they had kind of hid the fact that he was also there and present for so much of it somehow. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so I was expecting a lot of death. And we also, you know, 
knew who the killer was, though it, it wasn't exactly like 100% made clear, so I wasn't, like the first time that I saw Tommy in this movie, I didn't know that he was going to become the killer, but obviously as soon as Ruby Lane's mother went after him, then you're like, oh, okay, well that's who it is and who he's destined to be, and I was just kind of like, when is he going to get his hood? And then eventually he did, so... But yeah, so point being, I felt like there was less surprises in that regard. But I also felt kind of like more of the urgency because you you were expecting a lot of people to die. You didn't necessarily know when or how it was going to happen, um, but you knew that it was going to be <laughs> bad. But also I just think that the, it was maybe a more well-crafted... Uh, little film altogether, and I, I maybe I kind of cared about the characters a little bit more, though now I'm getting like fairly more attached. We got more Dina, and that was good. And I liked all the ways that it tied back into the first one. I'm really curious to see what they're going to do to kind of wrap this up, because now we see at the end, really the biggest twist in this, to me, is that we find out that Dina basically is, I guess, like reincarnated Sarah Fear. Sarah Fear looked exactly like Dina, and when she reunites the hand and the body, that's what she sees. Um, so I'm really curious what that is going to mean, and it's cool. It seems that the last movie is going to focus around telling the story of how the curse started, but I'm expecting also that maybe we'll get a little bit at, at the end that's like an end to the curse, a resolution, but how Dina finding out that she kind of is Sarah Fear and started this, how that's going to play into it. I think that they wanted you to be surprised about also about which sister lived and I guess maybe uh, you should have been because of the sea the sea Berman thing they were setting it up along those lines and and Cindy was kind of it seemed more like the main character for a lot of that story's focus but I'm not surprised like I don't know, there was just the fact that C. Berman, they never say her first name um, before we actually got to the impasse time. The fact that Ziggy, you know, that's obviously a nickname. The fact that the actress that was playing her is like a more famous actress from Stranger Things. That kind of, I don't know, I just, the, the, the thing with Nick, the like relationship with Nick, and then the fact that I had assumed that he slipped the note under her door and it indeed was true. I was thinking that she was probably going to be the sister who survived, and indeed she was. So I wasn't surprised by that, but I'd be curious to know if a lot of you guys were. Um, I, I do think they did a good job with it. I just kind of, I guess I just saw that coming. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very well done. As always, the music, fantastic. Um, I like, you know, they gave us some more backstory and history but just in like pieces so that we we lead into the third movie which I guess we'll totally focus on that and I'm really hyped I can't wait to watch the concluding part I am sweating to death I am dying of heat over here so I gotta wrap this up now and like get out of this corner and I don't know go take a cold shower or something because I am dying I think my air conditioner is broken but so yeah I'm gonna end this here guys but thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I will see you next time for the conclusion bye